Psalm 105 verse 1 says, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Elsewhere in the Bible, we're told to give praise to the Lord for everything. And I'm reliably informed that that means everything. So do we praise the Lord enough? Like Saul on the road to Damascus, I spent my early years denying him and ridiculing those who belonged to him. Then on the 14th of December, all that changed in an instant. And so it seemed I came back to the Lord as if on a piece of elastic. Do I praise him enough? Well, I ought to. I have a clear memory of what I was before that date and what I am now. So I have no excuse not to praise him. And we should look back at what he has done. How many times does the, do the prophets and apostles remind God's people of the things he has done? I have plenty of reasons to praise him, but still probably don't do enough. For example, such was my reputation that the most important event in my life, getting married to Jean, nearly didn't happen. She was strongly advised to have nothing to do with me. Yet we have just passed our 47th wedding anniversary, which probably would never have happened if not for the Lord's grace, to say nothing of Jean's patience and forgiveness. And from that, we have three lovely daughters, six great-grandchildren, and we've just been introduced to our seventh great-grandchild. So I can look back and see the contrasts in my life, both before and after that night in 1986. I'm now privileged to sing in our music group, which gives me the opportunity to enact this verse and the one that follows. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Just as the Israelites were urged to remember the past, so I would encourage everyone to look back and see what the Lord has done and consider what would have been different if he hadn't. Can I pray? Lord, give us insight into the enormity of your grace and to help us give you praise. Amen.